Hey everybody, welcome to Lessons with Troy. I wanted to give you a free lesson today on one of my favorite songs, uh, Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. And uh, I'm on the Duesenberg here in open D tuning. D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. And let's just jump right on into the intro. First of all, the song's in the key of A. So in open D tuning, we're going to be kind of working off our seventh fret here. But we'll get into the chords later. Um, let's work on this intro. Sounds like this. Okay, so you start on this note here, the fifth of our scale, the E note. So we know that's an E note because here's D is open and then two frets up is E. So you just slide that up. So slide two to four on your sixth string and then an open fifth string. And then you're going to slide two to four on your fifth string. Let that ring out. Put a little vibrato on it if you want. And then you're going to go. And then that's just four, two, pull off to zero. So four, two, pull off to zero. And then I just kind of do a quick slide, two to four, back to two. Right? And then it does this little, which is just a quick, uh, three to four slide on your fifth string and notice my my right hand position I haven't really talked about that yet but I just have my thumb on sixth string index on fifth middle on fourth kind of muting things out using the tip of my bar to get all these so just three to four uh, about that many times what is that three times or so And then you end it with a four, two, pull up to zero. And then probably you want not that far of a slide, but maybe a slide from five to seven on your six string. About like that. Now you gotta watch on the Duesenberg, it's very bendy on this six string, so just a real light touch. Once again, let me go over that intro again. That's two, four on your six string with the thumb. And then you play open fifth string, but check out the pick blocking on my thumb on that sixth string. So these fingers, basically, if you're not playing something, that finger's down muting. That's a good kind of rule of thumb. Okay, and then we just slide two to four. And then four, two, oh. Two to four, two. And that quick three to four slide to two on my fifth string, and then and just four two zero, oh. and then a slide from five to seven on my sixth string. Okay, so there's the intro. Now, for the chords on this one, um, it's in A, right? And let's just, I'm just gonna show you um, the main kind of part of it, which is a, your, a one chord to a minor two chord. So we got one, seventh fret A major. And then we go to a, a minor two chord, right? Well, on the Duesenberg, um, you could do like a power chord if you avoid your third string and play fourth string, second string, first string, right? That's more of a root fifth kind of chord. But let's do this. Let's put our, our A bender down or our second string bender. And you get a nice B minor chord, which is your two chord, minor two chord in the key of A. And that's just, and it sounds kind of like a cool pedal steel sound. So... A. 
Let's let's instead of going to that power chord, let me just go right to the B minor. Now, I, I did want to say, since it's the free lesson, you know, I'm not making any tablature or anything for this. So, and I'm just kind of making this up as far as that rhythm goes. I'm kind of doing what the snare drum's doing on two and four. So, one, two, three, and four. You know, so when I hit two and four, I just kind of roll my bar back, give it a nice little percussive. And I hit one, kind of on the, on one and three, I'm hitting the, the bass note. So let me show you too. So that, that would be some ideas with the chords, right? Basically A and doing the, on two and four, doing the kind of rolling back on the bar to add a little percussion. And then the, getting that B minor with your A bender down on your second string and playing kind of on our arpeggiating strings four through one. Right now, if you want to start improvising over this, it's kind of a, definitely bluesy, but it's it's in a major key, right? We have an A major, and then that uh, B minor. Let me show you a cool little A minor pentatonic, and then check out, you know, sliding from that flat third to the major third, or minor third to major third, all the way down to an open fifth string so nice little uh, let me show you just the a minor pentatonic it's going to be uh first string seventh fret to fifth fret go to your second string seven to five on your third string go sixth fret Understanding that that's your minor third of your key, so you can slide that up to your major third to root note on fourth string, seventh fret, fifth fret, fourth string. Go to your fifth string, seven, five, and then uh, th uh, fifth string. You can that's your minor third there on third fret, fifth string. You could slide that up to a uh, major third if you wanted to fourth fret to your root note in the key of A, open fifth string. Well, let's extend that, that scale out a little bit, maybe show you where the blue notes are, which is your um, flat five or sharp four of the scale. So we got seventh fret, first string, fifth fret, first string, and then we got the fifth of our of our scale here on seventh fret second string you can do a chromatic right seven six five fifth blue note or flat five sharp four to fo fourth minor third to major third on third string root note on fourth string flat seven on your fifth fret fourth string go to your fifth string for another fifth of our scale Blue note or flat five sharp four, sixth fret. There's the fourth of our scale. And then that third fret to fourth fret, if you want to do like a minor third, major third, to root. Just a nice little little uh, two octave scale. To Okay, I hope you enjoyed that short little uh, lesson and uh, keep checking out the site for what's new and the YouTube channel. And thanks for all your support through the years. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.